Hi, it's Jane RVM. And we're here and it's a little bit dark because we are going to do some more imaging. So this time I'm going to focus on doing the uh, lateral hook that you might get. It's also quite a good one to remember. Sorry, I'm waving the dog's leg. Holly's quite interested. She's coming to say hello. Um, it's quite a good one to remember with extremities because obviously we don't have bony landmarks and this dog has got quite a decent leg, but it is common for people to get mistaken with the hawk because the foot is so much longer down from the hawk. So what you're going to want to think is, again, look at the whole dog. You could actually even start where we started with the thorax, divide it into two, move back, then consider if I'm going to have to find hawk, then I need to find hip, stifle, hawk, and then I'm wanting to take long bone, so I'm wanting to take tib, fib, so I'm actually going to do between the stifle and the hock, including the joints, cranial and caudal, to that aspect. So you can include the toes, but you might find because his legs are so long, you might not. But that's acceptable because you would have included the joints, cranial and caudal. So my little glow-in-the-dark stickers. I'm going to go, he's got quite a big bum here, so my hip joint is up about here. Then we have... Oops, don't want to lose my stickers, all going to go wrong. Stifle here, quite nicely pronounced here. And then final one, where actually is our hawk? Well, our hawk is going to be here. And I'm going to put it at the caudal aspect. So you're going to have to take an x-ray that is centred in between stifle and hawk. And it's going to be collimated to include both these stickers. So it might seem a little bit bigger than you're actually thinking, but it's an initial survey radiograph for your imaging. We're not looking at, yes, there's a definitive fracture. This is what we're focusing on. This is your survey radiograph to say, we've pinpointed the problem, then we're going to do further x-rays. And obviously you're only doing one view in the exam as well. You would obviously do two views as a minimum in practice. So include, include and remember that in if you're particularly doing city and guilds i think it's the same for cq it says to include so don't forget that don't go an inch shorter just because it looks neater go an inch bigger so you've included so that is hip stifle hawk you're going to center mid shaft of the long bone you're taking and you're going to include the joints proximal and 